you guys. So I wanted to do a quick video today. Um, for those of you who are maybe interested in belly dance and um, are looking at different videos on how to do things, you know, I'm not the most petite person. Um, but belly dance is all about people of all shapes and sizes. Um, it doesn't matter if you're like super skinny or if you're big. The point is belly dancing is about feeling yourself, being happy, and feeling the music and just letting it take over. So one of the things I want to do today is go over just something basic, hip lifts. Um, can also be in combination with hip drops but something that's important, and I know there's a bunch of videos out there, um, but I'm the kind of person, sometimes it's hard for me to learn that way. I, I need explanation, I, I need to know. So I'm gonna do my best to explain it the way I understand it. There's two ways to do hip lifts. Feet planted, as you can see, feet are flat. You gotta have a little bit of a, little bit of a bend in your knee. You wanna tuck your hips, because you always wanna have your hip, you always wanna have your pelvic bone tucked. Now, ladies, I know this is the difficult part, is letting the stomach go, because you're gonna push. This is what it looks like from the side. Okay, move my arms out of the way. Okay. Again, feet planted. Knee slightly bent, hips tucked, shoulders back. You're going to, the way I think of it, is you dip down with one, okay? That pushes this hip up. Now something I learned from one of my belly dance instructors, which I don't really see a whole lot of in videos, is a lot of times you'll have people have their hands out. Or a low V. Or, you know, you can have your hands. One thing that my instructor taught me is that especially when you're doing hip movements, you wanna frame your hips. Frame your hips or frame the movement that you're doing so the attention is brought to where you're going. So I like to frame my hips, drop, and so a lot of people are like, oh, hip drop. But it just depends on how you're hitting it with music. You can do it gently for the hip lifts and hip drops or sharp. And if you're trying to do it sharp, also work on squeezing the butt cheek that you're lifting and so it makes it more dramatic. You can also lift your leg up so that you're preened on your toes. And this is the easier way to practice hip lifts and drops. More isolated for one side, but it's a good way to practice so you can kind of feel the muscles and know which muscles are moving so that when you're in this position, and see the difference, the way it looks when my hands are out in a V or if my hands are framing the hips. Your, your eyes move where the hands draw. For a long time, the arms were a huge problem for me. And I felt like they were just, and it's taken me a long time to practice and learn graceful lines. So there you have it. Those are some tips on hip lifts and drops. Remember, if you wanna make them stronger, you squeeze the glute. And while you're doing this, you can add the layer of arms you can speed, a bit, speed it up to turn it into a shimmy, to do it as a just a hip shimmy versus that shimmy. And there you have it. 